Hi, my name is Paul. Welcome in my garage. This video is made especially at the request of my friend from Saudi Arabia. Uh, I will show you uh, the shorted manual of the 5kV isolation resistor meter MIC5005 I have over here, so we will start. To turn on the meter, please press the button on the left. The meter will carry out a self-test and you can see the firmware version. After the moment, meter will show the main screen of the meter. We'll turn off. When turning the meter on, by pressing the power button and the menu at the same time we'll go to the settings power frequency 50 60 hertz out of time the security pin absorption conversion selection according to the standard p e and dar or ab1 ab2 so it's any time according to the user wishes then we have update beeper test voltage tolerance hi mean uh, high it's a tolerance plus uh, minus zero and plus ten percent according to the standard or you can choose low which means minus ten and plus five percent so if you choose the measurement voltage meter will generate at least the particular voltage or plus five or plus ten percent on the front panel we have buttons from left side on off screen backlight arrows to navigate in the menu below to the screen we have F1 which you can choose the filters and F2 and 3 and 5 the other function buttons start, enter, escape and menu on the right side of the panel there is a rotary switch where we can choose different measurement methods by selecting the menu you can set the measurement time T1, T2, T3 and uh, T as a total measurement time those times are useful for the absorption confession and you can also choose the test current one point two and three milliamps now we'll connect a meter to measure the isolation resistance of piece of the cable we connect three test leads red to the plus black to the minus and blue as a guard the test leads and the crocodiles are designed for measurement over 10 kV Using a rotary switch, I can choose the test voltage. I check settings and to start the measurement, I press start button and at the same time pressing enter to lock the measurement. When the clock measures the previous set times, the meter remembers the currently measured resistance. After 40 seconds we see T2 as it was set. After 50 seconds we will see T3. 
after 55 seconds the meter will finish the measurement and automatically discharge the object and we can see the measurement result on the screen using F3 and F4 buttons we can check the additional measurement values like capacitance, liquid current, current resistance after times T1, T2, T3 PE and TAR coefficients that's all what I want to show if you will have any questions please let me know I will be happy to help